Armed with information they have about the genes and genomes of various species, genetic engineers have begun taking genes from one species and splicing them into the genome of another. This is referred to as recombinant DNA technology. Recombinant DNA technology has a number of uses. One is modifying an organism so that it produces a material, such as a protein, that is useful to humans. For example, some humans don't produce enough of the hormone insulin that helps cells of the body metabolize sugar. This leads to the disease diabetes mellitus that is eventually fatal if left untreated. Treatment of this type of diabetes takes the form of injecting insulin up to four times a day. Until recently, the source of insulin had been the pancreases of slaughtered pigs and cattle. However, recombinant DNA technology has allowed genetic engineers to place the human gene that codes for the production of insulin into bacteria, causing the bacteria to produce human insulin. Likewise, genetic engineers have developed sheep that produce the human protein AAT in their milk. AAT is often used in treating the relatively few individuals who develop emphysema as a result of a genetic defect that leaves their bodies unable to produce enough AAT. AAT protects the lungs from the enzymes used by white blood cells to defend the lungs from invasion by outside microorganisms. Without the protection of AAT, the enzymes released by white blood cells cause the same breakdown in the tiny air sacs or alveoli of the lungs as does cigarette smoke or exposure to other airborne irritants. Another use of recombinant DNA technology is to genetically modify the characteristics of organisms in a manner that either increases their commercial value or simulates the characteristics of human diseases and experimental organisms so that researchers can study various treatments in more controlled conditions that would be possible with human subjects.